I am a man with a broken dream. I had a dream for our people. We are the first colony in Asia that ever mounted a nationalist revolution. We are the first Asian people to adopt a democratic government in 1898. And my dream was that we would be also the first underdeveloped country to develop in freedom. To show the whole world that a poor people relying on its own brains, its own guts, its own heart could give everyone a better life. That we could develop, not as other countries have developed, at the expense of the men and women who labor and sweat, but for their benefit and with their participation and their help. So that one day, we could have a society here where no one is unwanted, where everyone is cared for, where the rich do not go richer while the poor grow poorer, where the strong do not oppress the weak, where everyone is sure of justice and knows that he is free to say the truth as he sees it, even if that truth is not palatable to some people. That was my dream. When martial law came, and we lost our freedom. My dream shattered. But that dream, broken though it is, shattered into small pieces, still grips me so tightly I cannot let go. I am compelled to try to pick up the pieces and try to put them together again. And today, I hope to infect you with my dream. And maybe maybe enlist the help of some of you in trying to make my dream come alive again. Each of us must admit that we are all guilty. Some more some less, but all of us, in some way, are guilty for what is happening in our country today.
some by what we have done or allowed to happen. Some by what we could have done and did not do. That I think we can no longer afford the luxury of raising our hands in despair or disgust and saying, eh, anong magagawa natin? The time is now for us to seek solutions to the basic problems of our nation. Alam kong pangarap. Alam ko mga pangarap ay hindi totoo. Ngunit, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But I have so much faith in our people that despite everything that has happened, I believe with all my heart and in the very depth of my soul that we can bring this dream come true. I ask all of you never to forget that tayong lahat ay mga pinsino that we are all brothers and sisters in blood. And no matter how deep our disagreements may be, there is no reason why we cannot sit down and try to find peaceful, non-violent solutions our problems. Of course, individually, there is little that we can do. But even individually, we can think. Individually, we can talk to our friends and tell them what we think should be solutions to our country's problems. Above all else, let us never stop loving our country and being ready to sacrifice everything. Our fortunes, our lives, even our honor for the welfare of our people.